chapter 2, lesson 2 is dividing by tens, hundreds, and thousands, and their multiples. So, uh, just like the last lesson where we had to multiply, this time around, we're dividing. So, when we're dividing by 10, we basically will just have to move the decimal place if we were dealing with decimal places. However, in this lesson, there's no decimal places. So, what we will do is if both the divisor and the dividend have zeros, what we need to do is cancel equal amounts of zeros on each. Okay, and then go through the division process and then put the zero in the end. So again, we need to be able to cancel the zeros and it has to be equal amounts of zeros from each. There will be some problems where it can be done mentally. There are some problems that we need to do computationally. So if it can be done mentally, we proceed with a mental computation. But if not, then we have to write our division sign on the side. Okay, so our problems will come from pages 29 and 34. Okay, so the first exercise is 850 divided by 50. So if we look at the dividend and the divisor, both have one zero. So those can be canceled. Now, if you can divide mentally 85 divided by 5, great. But if you can't, then you have no choice but to put it on the side and divide. So 85 divided by 5. So 8 divided by 5 is 1. Multiply, that's 5. Subtract, that's 35, which means that's 7. So which means 850 divided by 50 must be 17. Okay, if we look at the next problem, here there's two zeros, but there's only one zero on 80. Therefore, we can only cancel one of the zeros. Now, if you can do it mentally, which... You theoretically you should because 72 divided by 8 is 9. But we have an extra 0 making it 90. So again, if we cannot do it mentally, don't force it. 720 divided by 8, that will be 9. Multiply 72, subtract 0, bring down 0, that will be 90. Okay. In the next page, page 34, we have 36, 3,600 divided by 400, which means the zeros here, I have two, and here I have two, those zeros will cancel. So again, we can only cancel equal amounts of zeros. Okay, so which means this I should be able to do mentally, and so will the kids. So this is 36 divided by 4 is 9. Okay, in letter G, it's we have three zeros and two zeros. So only two of the zeros will cancel. So in the end, we just divide 30 divided by 5 must be 6. Okay, and our final question for the lesson, these have two zeros and two zeros which will cancel. And I can't do that man mentally, so I'll write it down as 294 divided by 6. So that would be 4, that will be 24, that will be 5, bring down, and then that will be 9. So that means this must be 49. So again, when we're dividing by 10, 100, and thousands, all we need to do is be able to cancel equal amounts of zeros from the dividend and the divisor. If you, if you have more zeros on one, don't cancel all the zeros, equal amounts of zeros. If you can divide mentally after canceling, then divide mentally. If you can't divide mentally after canceling, then write the computational version of what you are dividing.
That concludes lesson 2 of chapter 2. See you in the next lesson.